Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, you're going to see how to deploy a DigitalOcean droplet and install CyberPanel. Let's go to the documentation, install CyberPanel. I'll click there on installing CyberPanel. You can find how to install CyberPanel. I will put the link in the description so you don't have to search for it. And they supported operating systems, Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu 20.04, Alma Linux 8, Alma Linux 9, and Ubuntu 22.04, and Cloud Linux 8. 1 GB RAM, 10 GB of disk space, disk space, that is the recommended minimum. But I'd recommend at least you go with 2 GB of RAM. I'm going to install Ubuntu 22.04 and then install CyberPanel. The next thing, let's deploy our server on DigitalOcean. So I'm going to go to DigitalOcean and login. If you don't have an account, you can use my link. And that is going to give you $20 free credit to try DigitalOcean. And you see, if you follow the link, it's going to give you $200 free credit of DigitalOcean. That is, if your account is new. Now I can go ahead and create the droplet. So I'm going to create a droplet. I will choose London, London data center there. The image, I will go with Ubuntu, but I want Ubuntu 22.04. Choose the type of server you want. I'm going to go with a basic shared CPU server, and I want to use a premium Intel server. And as I said, I want to go with 2GB, so I would advise you as well to try 2GB instead of the 1GB. I'm going to go with that. If you need additional storage, you can add a volume, but this is something you can add later once your server is deployed. And then backups, you can enable automated backups. So if you click there, you can enable weekly backups. And that's going to be 20% of your droplet for the weekly backups and then for the daily backups is 30 percent of the droplet so select yours there i'm going to select the daily backup make sure you have a backup recovery plan this is very helpful anything can go wrong at any time so make sure you have that selected and i would go with the daily backups you can select a time of day for the backup to take place and then choose authentication method if you don't have an ssh key then you can set up a password. You'd have to write your password there and make sure you remember the password because if you forget it, you won't be able to log into your server with that password because it won't be sent to you. In my case, I want to use an SSH key. And if you don't know how to do this, I do have a different video that shows you how to deploy a digital ocean droplet with an SSH key. In that video, I generate an SSH key and then add it to DigitalOcean and then go through the step of deploying a droplet. And this is the one you should go with. So if you don't know how to do that, make sure you watch that video. I will add it in the description as well. So I'm going to select that key. And then we recommend these options, add metrics. This is free, of course, enable that. I'm not going to use a managed database because CyberPanel comes with a database and I can use that. And then finalize the details, one droplet, host name, host name, make sure you give it a name that is a fully qualified domain name. So here I'm just going to do a sample and I will call it sample, sample.bizanosa.com. And then you can add a tag and then choose the project. I will leave it in the project. So my server per month is, 20, is $16, but plus backup, it becomes $20 per month. And then I can create droplets. I'm using a Linux laptop, but if you're on Windows, you can still follow along with me. Just go to your Google search and search for Git, install Git. And then here under downloads, go and install Git for Windows. Click there on Windows, download the portable one, but I'd just install it. If you if you're always using it, just install the standalone installer and then open git bash and follow along with me as i type my commands there's no excuse for you why you can't follow along whether you're on windows mac or linux you can still follow along without any problem so let's log into the server so i'm just going to copy the ip and i will come back to my terminal 
I will log into my server SSH and the user is root at my IP control shift V. If you're using git bash, I don't know how the control shift V works. You'd need to use shift insert to paste SSH root. And then I want to log in with my private key. So the identity of my key type yes to confirm that you want to log into the server and add it to your non hosts file enter all right just like that i'm now logged into my ubuntu server the first thing i can do is update the server as a force of habit i'm using sudo but you don't need to use it here so here you can install cyber panel or cyber panel enterprise the enterprise version will use lightspeed so if you want to install lightspeed first of all you'll need to go to the lightspeed website and get yourself a license if your server is 2 gb and below you can run lightspeed enterprise free version and that will work with only one website so if you only have one website to run i would actually recommend that you go with cyber panel enterprise but if you will be adding more websites then i'd suggest you just go with the lightspeed open source open lightspeed and that comes with this cyber panel once the updates are complete reboot the ubuntu server you can just do sudo reboot to reboot or you can also reboot on the digital ocean droplet interface if you come here you can click on it and then under power you can power cycle to restart make sure you restart your server before you start installing cyber panel so for ubuntu sudo apt update i've already updated the server and then run the installation script so i'm running this i'm running this as the root user but if you're not the root user make sure you say you switch to the root shell by doing sudo su that, that so i'm just going to copy that and before i even run this let me just use tmax i will open tmax because this installation might fail and with tmax i can just reconnect to the session and see if i can continue the session Control shift v to paste the script do you want to install cyber panel yes i want to install cyber panel so i will press one and then enter this is a part where you choose whether you want to install cyber panel or cyber panel enterprise if you want the enterprise version you're going to select number two and then you'll need to enter the license key for lightspeed open lightspeed is free for as many websites as you need to run on it so i'm just going to go with one and then enter install full service for cyber panel yes enter do you want to set up remote mysql this will skip installation of local mysql so default is no and you can always tell the default by which one is capital and you can see n is capitalized so i'm going to press enter and that will use the local mysql press enter to continue with the latest version or you can select a specific version i'm going to press enter to go with the latest version do you wish to install memcached yes do you wish to install redis yes would you like to set up watchdog yes then let it continue so i'm just going to pause and then if there's anything that is needed of me that is when i will come back that is when i will come back and resume recording so i'm just going to pause for now Well, finally, after waiting for like five years, the installation is complete and you can restart your server. I'm just going to press enter. The installation time took 17 minutes. You can save the details for your server. So to log into your server, to log into cyber panel, just copy that link. Advanced, continue. And I will copy the password. Come back. Password. Enter the password. Sign in. 
you have now installed cyber panel. Let's say I want to add a website and I want to add a sample WordPress website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the domain from here and this is on Cloudflare. What I've done is I've just given it the bare minimum DNS records and that is the A record that points to my server and this is a and this is a server where cyber panel is installed and I've also added www that points to the domain as a CNAME. So that is the bare minimum to get your your domain to show up on the browser on the internet. So I'm just going to come back here and let's say I want to add a website. So just here on this you can choose to add a website but the option is also here here under websites you can create a website. I'll just use default. You can create packages and set them up. If you want to set up packages, maybe give minimum disk space, the number of websites that can be installed. You can come here under packages, create a package right there. Select the owner. So you can also add users. So just remember that if you're using Lightspeed Enterprise, you probably won't be able to create many users if you're using the free one. So you can create a new user. Let's just create a new user here. And I want that user to own that website. I don't want the admin user to own the website. User details, last name, email, select a CL user. That is just security user. Website limit, you can say 10 username sys admin 190 security level i'll leave it there at high and then create the user username successfully created so let me come back to create website and i will reload select package default select owner sysadmin190 and then domain name paste email php version 8.2 open lightspeed plus apache backend nope so that's a premium feature but i don't know why you'd want to use apache on a small server don't use this if you're on a small server create a mail domain yes and then create the website Wait until it says successfully installed. And now you can install anything you want there. I don't know if I can install WordPress from there or WordPress is a paid feature. Let's go to deploy WordPress. I don't know whether this is the one that's paid. Okay, it seems like this is a paid. This is a paid add-on from cyber panel. If I want to install WordPress there, let me go and list websites. And I will click there on manage. Here you can install these applications and I'm going to install WordPress. Title, sample, login username, sample password for the path i'll just let it get installed on the home directory for this domain and then i'm going to click on install now so here it's saying invalid ssl certificate I will look into that. Successfully installed. So why am I getting this invalid certificate? Let's see. If I go to websites, list websites. So SSL has not been issued. Let me just click there on issue SSL. So it says SSL has been issued. Let's come back, reload, see if that's fixed it. If you wanted to host WordPress, there you go. If you want to learn how to use CyberPanel, there's a tutorial I did 
three four years ago i think it's still relevant a link to the playlist below it is a complete cyber panel tutorial teaching you about some of these things so just as a way to end the video there are lots of open source projects that need support from us so if you're using something for free sometimes it's just good to support the project go to cyber panel look at add-ons if there's anything you can purchase from them go ahead and buy it you know maybe the create the creator of this project is probably struggling financially you never know man just find something you can buy here i don't know whether they still have the support there used to be support i don't know if they still have that support but just come here maybe you can buy that uh, wordpress manager you can buy at one time price or yearly price or monthly price just go ahead and support these open source projects because if we don't it is guaranteed all of them will fail think about that if there's anything you're going to use you can buy it yearly 54 yearly wordpress manager 54 yearly maybe you're making money from your websites you can just go ahead and buy the add-ons or you can get all the add-ons for one time fee of 169 all these add-ons will be available to you at that i don't know whether they did away with the support but support would also be a nice way to support to support them all right that's it for this video in this video just to summarize you've seen how to set up your droplet you've seen how to deploy a digital ocean droplet then install cyber panel and just as a sample we've seen how you can install our wordpress website on it before i end i'm just going to come in here before ending the video i'm just going to come here and uh, destroy on my droplet and i will destroy this droplet destroy and that should end the tutorial if you have a question feel free to let me know i will see how to assist you that's it for this video until next time